Well, it seems Pow World has 19 million players and is growing significantly. 19 million being half the population of Canada. That's absolutely amazing to see. But now there's companies out there that are, are zipping their lips. They're no longer allowed to speak the name Pow World because it's now the Voldemort of video games. Now, before I get into the video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things. And if you're new around here, Thank you for coming back and checking out the channel. Mostly focused on gaming, but I do dabble in a lot of other things as well with some real life stuff. Namely, I have a Vegas trip coming up, so do be on the lookout for some live streams and for some videos straight from the strip. Anyway, Japanese celebrities have been reportedly been told not to mention Pow World to avoid Pokemon backlash. Yes, yes, the name is now as cancerous as Voldemort. You're no longer allowed to say Power World in normal conversation in Japan. This is absolutely absurd. This is the level of things where they are now for the gaming company. Now, Pokemon does not control the pocket monster genre. They don't control this little niche of people that want to just play these games. The things that Pokemon does control are like names like Squirtle, Pikachu, Charizard, and those models. But you change it enough and you have something unique on your hands. Really, Pow World is 40% Pokemon, 40% Ark, and some Breath of the Wild uh, in there as well. Or I guess Tears of the Kingdom with The Legend of Zelda. It's amalgamating a lot of things together. And it sounds like that PvP is on the horizon very, very soon. And if you are running those dedicated servers, there is a option to turn them on. So do take a look at those outside of the game. Now, the Pokemon company recently said it was investigating whether the game infringes on its IP. Well, you know what? This game's been out for three years, the, the concept and the idea of it. And Nintendo, it took them one day to take down a mod for the game, but it's taken them over three years to fully investigate this. And it seems that it's not going to come down anytime soon. Tokyo Sports reports that according to talent agency source, talent has been advised not to mention the game in case there are issues. We have told our talent not to mention the POW world on social media or in public, the source said. This is done out of consideration for the Pokemon side of as its agency. This decision was made in consideration for future potential collaboration. So they're scared that Nintendo is going to no longer hire this talent agency just because some of their talent decides to mention Pal World. You know, this is a game that's a buzz across the industry. This, there is no reason to actually not talk about this thing. Like, could you imagine if I wasn't allowed to talk about Pal World here on the channel because I, I was scared that Nintendo would never sponsor me? They're never going to do it in the first place. If they're going to hire you, they're going to hire you based on other things and not on social media posts. That's absolutely ridiculous at this point. And we have seen this time and time again, especially with what happened with uh, Gina Carano. We have with Gina Carano where she was supposed to be appearing in Vancouver at a Comic-Con and Global News announcing the, these things and how people are very upset about it. This has been an ongoing thing and I don't see Nintendo doing that type of thing due to social media posts talking about Power World. That's how ridiculous this idea is you cannot speak the name of power world because it's now the new Voldemort of video games absolutely ridiculous in January the Pokemon company broke its silence uh, they said they were investigating it uh, we have not granted permission yada yada and I did this in a previous video uh, they continued to cherish yeah that's all new and not, nothing new there according to Microsoft power world is the biggest third-party game pass launch to date the Xbox vision peaked at nearly 3 million daily active users that's insane uh, on Steam there were over 2 million concurrent users of the game just this game is it has and it's not slowing down anytime soon. Um, VGC's review of Power World, everything that Power World lacks in originality, it makes up with impressive execution. And that's the thing, they, they took the 
everything that's out there, they put it together and they polished it up real well. And now it looks like it's a very fun game and a very unique game at that. The combination of survival genre elements with creature catching is hugely captivating, resulting in serotonin gobbling gameplay loop, despite the modest size of team creating it and Pal World's litany of system mesh perfectly together defying indie origins. And it really does. The game is a lot of fun. If you haven't picked up Power World yet, please do so. And you know what? I'm playing around with a lot of things on it. Um, you just log into the game and you run around and you're like, oh look, I can do my huggy, my huggy with my uh my fox, and I can sit there and breathe fire on everything and just destroy towns or many of the pals. It's absolutely hilarious of a game. The memes that are coming out at the 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 funness and the fun factor of the game is like a 10 out of 10 fun factor but when it comes to the gameplay yeah there's a few bugs uh throughout but they're still in early access and they haven't fully launched the game yet and they have a roadmap that's going to do a lot more for the game so you know what in the next year this game is going to skyrocket through and through now does it if it stays in early and this is a question for all of you if it stays in early access to the end of the year is it viable for a game of the year? That That's going to be the big question here. Does it have to be outside of early access to be considered a game of the year? And that was something, that, one of the arguments with Baldur's Gate 3 was they were in early access for three years, even though they came out three years ago, they didn't launch the title until last year, and then they did make it a game of the year. So where does that really lie? And Pal World, I think, might defy those odds. and bring into question more early access ideas. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. Hey, well, you guys get this as an after effect. Um, yeah, we've got... This is testing of a multiplayer server that's being set up. Um, so yeah, right now, this is just some testing of the waters of that. Let's grab this. And maybe, just maybe, I can get this Pokemon sitting here. Oh, th this mm. pal. This pal, right? It, th this is a test. It's just a test. Yeah. I can't throw that far. Never mind. Yeah, so we're we're setting this up. Uh, you know, the, you've got the same same sort of stuff on here, and uh, you know what? I yeah. can apparently throw a ball, um, but we're going to go make some items here, and you can see it's running very smoothly right now um, for a multiplayer server. Um, what do I need? I suppose I need cloth. I probably need cloth. So how do I make cloth? I need two cloths. So we need to go capture some sheep. We need some sheep, some lamb balls. Come here, Mr. Lamb Ball. We're, we're running over here. Do these things drop? I wonder if these things drop uh, cloth or drop wool. They're running away from me, though. They're not worth it. Hey, we got a, a pal solo sitting right here. Let's grab that.